Hey y'all, I'm here to do my bi-weekly burns and melts. Um, and like I said, I just haven't been melting as much as usual lately. I've just been super busy this semester. Um, so these aren't really bi-weekly anymore like they used to be, but I don't know. Whatever, we'll see. So the first thing you can see I'm burning is my London Calling candle and... Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost done. Let's see. See, it's only got about a finger's width left of wax. So that should be done today. So I'm going to go ahead um, and talk about it now while it's still burning. You can see it's burned really clean. There's no residue or anything. Um, around right here, you might be able to see a little bit, like just a few little lines. It did stop burning well for a while um, like, it burned really well the first, like, two times I burned it. Then the next two times I burned it, it really struggled. The flames were really, really low. Um, and then I got it past that point, and it's been burning beautifully ever since. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be finished today, and I can get rid of that. I'm trying to downsize my candle collection. I've just decided that I like tarts so much more, so I'm really trying to downsize that collection. Okay, and then the tarts that I've melted. Last night I melted banana nut carrot cake from Tiffany Candles. And this is in the old wax. Um, this I actually did get a throw from, but you guys know I just don't have the best luck with Tiffany's. But this one I did get a throw from. I got it out of the round robin that I had started. And this one was pretty good. It's not a scent that I would order again. Um... But the banana bread really sweetened up the carrot cake, so, or banana nut cake really sweetened up the carrot cake, so it was a carrot cake that I could stand. I did get a little tiny bit of spice out of it, but it wasn't bad. There were two tarts in this, and I threw both tarts into my 24-watt hot plate. I'm going to move this because it's kind of bright and it's hot. <laughs> Um, let's see. Also from Tiffany's, let me find it. Also from Tiffany's that I got out of the round robin, there were two tarts of this as well in the old wax, Amish friendship bread. And I had never had Amish friendship bread before, which I know is crazy. Like everybody loves Amish friendship bread. Um, but I just had never had it. I assumed it would be spicy for some reason. It wasn't at all. This one was really heavy on the almond, which I don't like. I think it smells like cherry. It's that same, like, really sweet note in cherry that I don't like. Um, but I did get a really good throw off of this, um, for Tiffany's. And I did enjoy it, but I, the almond was too strong. So I did put in one cube of... Vanilla Cookie Crunch from Better Homes and Gardens, and I only have two cubes of that left. Um, and this really helped tone down that almond. And my boyfriend actually, he never comments on my wax. Like, I always have it going, but he never is like, oh, that smells good, or ooh, I don't really like that. Like, he never comments on it. This time, he actually asked what was in the warmer because he liked it so much. So Amish Friendship Bread and Vanilla Cookie Crunch, really good combination. And I would order Amish Friendship Bread to do that combination again. All right, I have a few, well, two from Kim's. The first one, fresh squeezed orange juice. This was um, one of her scent shots, and I just kept the lid because you guys know her scent shots are darn near impossible to get out of the container. Um, this was really nice. I melted it one morning when uh, Stephen came over and we were going to cook breakfast and stuff, and it threw really well for about two hours. And it really did smell like orange juice, and I really, really enjoyed it. Obviously, I wish it had lasted longer than two hours, but I've had this for a while, and I got it from someone else. So, not saying someone would have sent me old wax, but, you know, you just never know how long, you know, they had had it too. So, it might last longer, you know, when it's newer or whatever, but I really enjoyed it. And I would order it again and try to get a longer scent throw out of it. But I did put the whole scent shot in my 24-watt hot plate. Um, last night in my bedroom, I melted pink sands, and I did what I normally do with my Kim's tarts. I put two tarts in my hot plate in my bedroom, and then, like, sort of let the scent go out of that, and then put the third one in. Um, this was a disappointment. 
you, you guys know Kim's are hit or miss, and I actually really like Kim's tarts. I know a lot of people don't, but I, I really do. This one, though, was a disappointment. Um, I got a light scent throw for a little while, but nothing nothing all that impressive. I wouldn't I wouldn't buy that one again. Okay, next, this one's really difficult to talk about, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Uh, it's Adventure from the Kissing Booth, and this was one of the little Kissing Booth, like, sample scallop tarts, and someone had put this into the round robin that I had started, and I was really excited to try this because I was curious about the scent. Um, on cold throw, it was fine. Warm, I hate to say this, but I have to be honest, it smelled like cat poop. And I, that sounds terrible, and I think it's the eucalyptus, and I just don't like eucalyptus, apparently, and I know a lot of people do, but I literally, like, for whatever reason, the place that my warmer is in my bedroom, like, I smell the scent in my closet first, which is kind of weird, but whatever, and I was in the closet, like, um, pulling stuff for my project wax and sorting through laundry and cleaning it out, whatever, you know, I was just in my closet, like, doing stuff, and I kept smelling, like, what smelled like cat poop, and I was like, oh my gosh, did one of the cats poop in here, because I mentioned I got a new foster cat, so I didn't know if maybe he had pooped in there, or if Lizzie had, because she was angry, or whatever, then I started smelling it in my bedroom, and I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on, and it was this, and I hate to say that, because I really do love the kissing booth, and I've had great luck with her stuff, and I want to order from her again, and I know a lot of people like eucalyptus, so if you like eucalyptus, you might like that scent, but I just, I just couldn't do it. Okay, also from, that I took out of, or, you know, that came back to me in the round robin, was Bella's Candles and Tarts Captain Crunch Berry Cereal Type. I was super excited to see this because I really wanted to try this scent. It smells really good. Um, I, it, I never have good luck with Bella's. I got a light scent throw. Um, every now and then I would walk in and be like, oh, it, it kind of smells like Captain Crunch in here. And I would ask my boyfriend, like, does it smell like Captain Crunch to you? And he was like, no. So, anyway, it wasn't very strong. And, yeah. From Rose Girls, this is the first thing that I've ever melted from Rose Girls. And it was one of their chunk wax muffins in Beetlejuice. I got this, I believe, from Aaron Making Sense. And... I had held on to this for a while because it was Rose Girls, and I don't have any Rose Girls, and, you know, whatever. Um, I hated this scent. Now, it threw amazingly well, and it does really solidify that I do want to order from Rose Girls because it performed so well. This scent, though, I did not like. It was really grapey. It was Fruit Loops, um, which both scents I don't like. Um, but I, it was really strong. I mean, I only had it in for about 20 minutes, but, whoo, Lord, it filled up my house. Now, a Fruit Loop scent that I did actually enjoy was from Sweet Fixations, and this one didn't have that sort of overwhelming, like, bakery, powdery cereal note. Um, it was just lightly cereal and some fruit, and, um, it threw really well. Um, it didn't last all that long. It probably lasted four or five hours in my hot plate, but I'm totally fine with that. Like, I, if I can get four hours of good scent out of a tart, I am so happy. So that one's good. I don't know that I would repurchase it just because Fruit Loops isn't my favorite, and there are other scents that I would buy again and would like to try from Sweet Fixations, but it, it, in terms of Fruit Loops, I did like that one. Oh, this one was amazing. Another one that I took out of, or that came to me in the round robin that I started, is Barista from Streetman Candles. And this was, uh, there was only a half a snap stick in here. This was the best, strongest, most delicious coffee scent ever. It lasted forever in my hot plate, like two days, two or three days in my hot plate. It was amazingly strong. And you guys know I love my coffee scents. This one was awesome. I have to have more barista. Oh, front porch. Okay. Buttercream and coconut cream. This is that butter, uh, that 
um, buttercream scent from Front Porch that I hate, that I think all of their tarts smell like, unless it's like a straight fruit scent. If it's any sort of bakery or cream or anything like that from Front Porch, they all smell exactly the same to me. And this is what that smelled like. I hate the scent. I threw it out after about 20 minutes. Can't deal. Um, from Kristen's Candles, I finished a clamshell in Coral Delight, and this one was full. I don't know what the scent notes are in this, but it's it's a fruity, maybe slightly citrus, fruity scent. Really, really good scent. I love the smell of this. Um, I've never had good luck with Kristen's Candles. I haven't tried all that many. So, I threw three cubes into my hot plate in my bedroom, and I actually got a light medium scent throw. Um, which was, for Kristen's Candles, I was happy with because last time I melted her, I didn't get anything. Um, so I put three in at a time and melted those, and it was good. I'm not going to order from Kristen's just because I haven't had good luck, but I, I was okay with that one. It was pretty good. Let's see. I melted from Yankee Candle, I melted a votive in True Rose, and I melted this because Stephen got me two dozen roses for Valentine's Day, and I was like, if I'm going to have roses sitting in my living room, I need to have it smell like rose. So I did put the entire votive into my hot plate, and it threw really strong, and it lasted a long, long time, and it's a nice rose scent. So if you like rose scents, I actually do recommend this. Um, I don't really like Yankee Candle, but it was good. It did what I wanted it to do. All right. From Three Sister Soaps, I melted raspberry and banana. Um, this is another one I got in my swap with Erin making scents. I threw the whole scent shot into my 24-watt hot plate in my bedroom yesterday. It was really, really, really heavy on the sweet raspberry. I didn't get a whole lot of banana out of this. I got a lot of sweet raspberry, which is not my favorite scent in the world, but it did perform really well, and I did actually enjoy it. Um, so I melted this, and then I also lit my London Calling candle in there just to get some lemon and maybe like make a raspberry tea. It was nice. Um, I enjoyed it. It didn't last all that long, um, but I was okay with that. Again, it probably lasted about four hours, and I'm more than happy to get four hours out of a scent shot. From Haley's Heavenly Scents, Vanilla Pound Cake. This one was awesome. I cut it in half, um, and I melted half just by itself, and then I melted half with a little bit of pink scent, you know, pink sugar from Krabby Candle or Dutch Candle, whichever one it's from. Um, this was a really good scent. It threw really well. It lasted a long time. It had that um, almost, like, that really deep bakery that's almost savory, but, like, in a good way, in a good bakery way. I really enjoyed this one, and I would re repurchase that from Haley's. Oh, my goodness. This might have been my favorite. No, Barista was my favorite. This would have been my second favorite of my, like, few weeks. From Granny's Country Candle, Lemon Drop Cookie. This was awesome. Now, I've had a lot of issues liking lemon bakery scents because, to me, they smell like Fruit Loops. Like, that lemon chiffon cake from Better Homes and Gardens or Sensationals or whatever. Oh, my God, I hated it. I threw it out in minutes. This, though, didn't have that cereal Fruit Loopy note. It was a cookie note. And the, le the lemon was a really like, sharp lemon, like, maybe almost cleaner lemon, but not sweetened up by the cookie. This was amazing, and I did half one time and half another time, because it threw amazingly well, lasted a really long time. I would definitely recommend this one from Granny's Country Candles. And actually, I ordered this because Wheel Sun 03, um, does she still make videos? I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know if they're just not showing up in my news feed. Anyway, she said that this was one of her favorites from Granny, so I had ordered it, and it was amazing. From Candles from the Keeping Room, I melted my sample in Serendipity, and I, Serendipity's tough for me, because I don't like cherry scents at all. Um, but Megan Sharp told, said, please melt that serendipity. That's my favorite serendipity. You have to melt it. Don't just get rid of it because of the cherry. So I melted it. I melted it in my bedroom, and she was right. It was really good. 
Now, I don't think I would order straight serendipity in like a four ounce bag or anything from Candles from the Keeping Room, but I might be open to trying a serendipity mix from Candles from the Keeping Room, and I did enjoy this. It, it threw really well. It made my room smell like nice and girly, which I liked a lot. Um, so yeah, if you like serendipity, I do recommend Candles from the Keeping Room. It does have more coconut than cherry, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to stand it. And then last but not least, this is what I have going in my living room right now from Tara's Candle Cottage. This is Bananas Foster Ice Cream. I'm not getting a whole lot of scent throw from this. I thought when I first put it in, I thought I would get a really good scent throw because it started out nice, but now I can't really smell it, which is a bummer because this smells amazing on cold throw. So flipping good on cold throw. And I wish it filled up, we're filling up my living room. But it, it's just not. Now, this is another one that I've had for a while that I got in a swap. And so that could be the reason. So um, I actually wouldn't mind purchasing this again to see if maybe if it were a little bit newer, if it would throw better. Um, or, you know, trying it in a light bulb warmer or something like that. But anyway, really good scent. I'm just not getting the best performance. So um, this is a pretty long video. Okay. So that's everything that I've melted the past few weeks, and yeah, if you have any questions or comments, whoa, sorry guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will talk to you guys later, bye.